Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this quick video, I would like to show you how you can uh, easily ask a question about a file um, in, uh, located in your OneDrive using Copilot. Um, so here I am in my OneDrive for Business. This is where, of course, I store all my private files. This is not a SharePoint you know, site or SharePoint document library. This is uh, OneDrive for Business. And uh, I have all these different files and folders, and one of them happens to be this uh, vehicle, you know, company, you know, policy. Now it's, let's say it's a pretty, you know, long document, right? I don't want to read through all of this, you know, pages. And uh, I have a very specific question. So what you can do, let me show you what you can do. Checkbox, and you either click on, you know, uh, Copilot kind of actions over here, uh, or you can click on the drop down um, uh, in the window over here under Copilot. And one of the options is ask a question. And essentially, yeah, you you know, you can uh, easily ask any question you want. For example, you know what? The one that uh, bothers me the most is this, you know, can I use my own vehicle? All right. So, um, you know, and uh, that's the question. All right. And yeah, just uh, let's send it. And uh, let's see what the response is. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's obviously going through the you know document and uh, trying to find the answer for us. And uh, we should see it uh, probably in a few seconds, just like that. All right. Yes. I mean the answer is yes. So it did find the answer for us according to the pol you know this uh, policy document. You may operate your vehicle. All right. And um, yeah, you can pretty much uh, ask additional questions. There are some other additional ones, you know, that kind of automatically pop up that you might be interested in. But, uh, you know, let me just choose one of them. Uh, again, it's just going to go through the document uh, again and uh, try to find the answer. And it even finds the reference for us, right? It even, you know, finds the reference for us, uh, you know, within the document where uh, that information was pulled from. So it's a nice way, right? If you, especially if you, ha if you have very, very long documents, I mean, you really don't need to, uh, you know, spend a lot of time and you can pretty much interact with the document this way. Now, let me show you something else that's actually super important. Um, you know, you probably noticed that uh, I initiated this, you know, copilot thing from my OneDrive for Business. Uh, however, you know, the reality is majority of documents are probably going to be located and should lo be located in SharePoint, right? In SharePoint document libraries. So here I am in SharePoint and this document I just showed you uh, in my OneDrive, it's this document right here. But the problem is that at least as of the recording of this video, uh, the option, this copilot drop down, this copilot option is not available here. I cannot sum summarize a file in here or, you know, ask a question uh, or do any other copilot things, you know, uh, it, the option is just not available, all right? So how do we get around that? Let me show you the trick. If you go to, once again, your OneDrive for Business, and of course, by default, this is all your private, you know, files and folders. On the left-hand side, you're going to see all the different sites that you visit on a regular basis. And under Quick Access, it will prioritize them, right? This is the site, you know, the libraries that I pinned uh, to Quick Access. Uh, but even if you didn't pin them, all right, uh, they're still going to show up in here. This are the, once again, the sites that you visit on a regular basis. And this policy site uh, happens to be one of them. Uh, that's this actual library that I just showed you in SharePoint. And uh, if I click the checkbox here, right, again, I am in my wonder of a business, but I'm looking, I'm viewing my SharePoint document library from here. Look, I select the document and now I can do this. You see, Copilot is once again here. And now I can, you know, ask a question once again, um, you know, um, for, for, you know, on the document that is physically located in SharePoint. So just wanted to show you this trick. I, I'm not sure if this, you know, Copilot dropdown will uh, make it to SharePoint. It obviously it does make sense, but it, you know, if um, if um, you don't have this capability, uh, this is the uh, you know trick um, you know for you to use. All right. So that was actually everything I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog. SharePointMaven.com as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.